Welcome back, dear viewers, to Legends and Legacies, the channel where we unravel the lives of the influential personalities who have left an indelible mark on the world. Today, we're briefly delving into the life and legacy of an icon, a man who forever changed the face of music. Known as the King of Pop, Michael Joseph Jackson. Michael Jackson's story begins on August 29, 1958, in Gary, Indiana. Born as the eighth of ten children in a working-class family, Michael's talent was evident from an early age. Michael's father, Joe Jackson, was a former boxer who worked as a steelworker to provide for his family. He was a strict disciplinarian, pushing his children towards music and forming the Jackson Five. Michael joined his brothers in the Jackson Five at the tender age of five. They performed at local venues, but their big break came in 1968 when they signed with Motown Records. The Jackson Five quickly shot to fame with hits like I Want You Back, ABC, and I'll Be There. Young Michael was the group's standout star, his vocal prowess and dynamic stage presence stealing the show. But Michael wasn't just a member of a group, he was a solo sensation. In 1971, while still with the Jackson 5, he released his debut solo album, Got To Be There. His talent was undeniable, and his star was on the rise. By the late 70s, Michael had moved on from the Jackson 5 and was ready to make his mark as a full solo artist. In 1979, he released Off the Wall, his first solo album outside of Motown with Epic Records. It was a hit, but it was nothing compared to what came next. In 1982, Michael released Thriller, an album that would change the music industry forever. Thriller became the best-selling album of all time, featuring hits like Beat It, Billie Jean, and the iconic title track, Thriller. But life in the spotlight wasn't always easy. Michael's appearance started to change dramatically, leading to speculations about plastic surgery and health conditions. In 1993, he faced his first serious allegation of child sexual abuse, a case that was settled out of court. Michael's legal issues didn't end there. In 2005, he faced another trial on similar charges, but this time he was acquitted on all counts. Despite the controversies, Michael continued to make music and perform. In 2009, he announced a comeback tour titled, This Is It, but tragically, he would never get to perform. On June 25th, 2009, Jackson was found in his home not breathing and with a weak pulse. Despite the best efforts of his physician and paramedics who were called to the scene, Michael Jackson was pronounced dead at the Ronald Reagan Medical Center at 2.26 p.m. at the age of 50. His death was ruled a homicide caused by acute drug intoxication. His physician, Conrad Murray, was later convicted of involuntary manslaughter for administering the fatal dose a powerful sedative that Jackson had been using as a sleep aid. At the time of his death, Michael had been preparing for a series of comeback concerts. This is it due to begin in July 2009 in London. His death triggered reactions around the world, creating unprecedented surges of internet traffic and a spike in sales of his music. Despite his controversial life and untimely death, Michael Jackson's legacy lives on. His influence on music, dance, and fashion is undeniable, and his humanitarian efforts continue to inspire. In 2010, Sony Music Entertainment signed a $250 million deal with Jackson's estate to retain distribution rights to his recordings and to release seven posthumous albums over the following decade. From his early days with the Jackson 5 to his incredible solo career, and even beyond his death, Michael Jackson's impact on the world of music is unparalleled. That's it for this episode of Legends and Legacies. Thank you for joining us as we explored the life and legacy of the King of Pop. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more brief dives into the lives of the most influential figures in history. Until next time,
stay legendary.